Hey, crazy Facebook friends. Lovely, crazy Facebook friends. How you doing? Jody here, spiritual coach and your fabulous neighborhood mystic. Um, yeah, well, I just wanted to actually give a little announcement. First of all, though, we have season change here in Glastonbury, the UK. The weather has shifted, taken a turn. And we are now in a rainy windiness and it's the temperatures dropped as well um, from last week where it was literally like 30 degrees uh, Celsius down to like 17. So it's a bit of a shift, a bit of a like whack in the face. <laughs> ah, is the summer over? Potentially. Ah. So anyway. It is a good time to shape shift with the equinox, which is the midway point between the two solstices. And this is a wonderful time to do deep inner work, to, to detoxify and to cleanse and to make some shifts and changes because the energies fully support it. And those of you who are into astrology can look as well. There's major movements happening with the stars and the planets and all that good stuff. So it's a really great time that you would get a lot of support with this in the unseen, in the kind of dynamics of creation and reality. So anyway, I'm announcing that I personally, yes, me, I, Jody Dean, I'm doing a 10 day challenge with these three things. Firstly, I'm doing a fasting detox, right? I'm going on to a a detox fast, a cleanse, it's going to be vegan, it is going to be doing intermittent fasting for the first few days and then going into liquids only and it's going to be wild and I do these every quarter of the year uh, at these points which really are powerful marker points and powerful portal points for us to go a lot deeper. And, and so I'm doing that. Okay. So I'm going to be off the stimulants, off the processed foods, um, having tons more, uh, supplements and supports for my system to detoxify, you know, on the charcoal and all that stuff. Um, as well as doing some particular strong detox protocols to, to really get rid, right? Clean out the pipes and release any toxicity that's around in my body and yeah get rid of parasites and all that good stuff so this is a an exciting time for me and it's always a little bit of a challenge right no you can't have that thing that you you can't ha eat, eat that croissant anymore you can't go for that coffee um you can't do this you can't do this. so there's a lot of like restriction and that's actually wonderful because it's a teaching for the mind. It's a training for the mind to, to not do things, to stop, to have a moment of reflection, to feel the thing that maybe is behind that impulse that wants to be pushed down, perhaps to suppress the emotion, the feeling. And, and so we get a lot more transparent when we go through these shifts, through these detoxes through having a discipline and a structure, which is so powerful. It's so powerful because we get to see the mind. We get to see the patterns and we get to choose then, you know, with this clarity, with this clear vision, we get to choose, do I want that? And how would actually, how would I do this without that need or that, that, that interference? And what do I actually truly want? You know, maybe I don't need anything. Maybe doing nothing is the answer. Maybe stopping. So that's number one. This is number one part of this challenge that I'm doing. Okay. And by the way, if you're interested, I am running a group which starts tomorrow, which is a, a detox cleanse. It's everything that I'm doing and I'm sharing that with you and I'm supporting and guiding and coaching you with that as well. And 
I decided to put the link in this live because why not? And with the early bird price, which is long gone, but you can get in with the early bird price because I'm a bit crazy today. And why not reward you for stopping by and watching this video? So isn't that wonderful? Um, so if you do want to partake in that, go ahead. Please do click the link and join us. All right. Join me. <laughs> Okay, now what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to be running every day. And this is going to be at least a 10 minute run. Okay, I haven't run for something like five months. Um, I got out of it because I was in a hot climate uh, and traveling. And um, it was kind of the last thing that I wanted to do was just go for a run. <laughs> I'm trying to keep cool. You know, Egypt in like 38 degree heat. So... Uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm going for runs every day and I love to run. I love that physical exercise and, you know, breaking into a sweat and, you know, exploring countryside and roads and pathways, which I wouldn't normally do. So, you know, endeavor to do a different pathway every day, a different route every day. Okay. So I'm going to be back into that. And that's also going to just help me feel more alive, more connected to my body, and um, more active and more fit, basically. And I'm probably going to do a warm-up for that 10-minute run, and I'm probably going to do a warm-down that might involve some yoga, some breath exercises, some qigong, some tai chi as well. So it's like, oh, yes, look, why not, right? It's like, oh. And it suddenly becomes like 40 minutes of movement, you know, and then it becomes like an hour of power. So, so I'm excited about that. And number three, I'm also going to be writing. Okay, writing every single day. And the, the plan is to do 20 minutes of writing every day. Oh, but how will I fit it in? Well, let's see. All right. It's interesting when we commit to a discipline like this, we find the time, we make the time. And that's what I found in the past. So, it's also helpful to kind of verbalize it and vocalize it and publicize it because then you've got more accountability, right? All you people out there are going to be looking at me going, how's your writing going? And because many of you I know and many of you I don't know, I'm still going to feel accountable to you because I've said and stated that I'm going to be doing this. And so it's like, well, what kind of a person am I if I say the thing and then I don't actually do it? It's like double standards, right? So then I have to be in integrity. I'm called to be in that integrity place, which of course is what I'm all about is being in the truth, being in my honesty and being authentic and doing the thing, right? So having the courage and the discipline to do the thing and get it done because that's we've identified that's the thing we want to do because that brings us joy, that brings us happiness, that brings us fulfillment, right? So now uh, also a beautiful synchronicity happening. Some of you may have noticed that I... Uh, shared the opportunity to uh, have a free copy of this beautiful, powerful uh, father wound healing and divine sacred masculine activation journey, um, which I recorded. And so um, I've offered that and you can still get a copy of that if you want it. And just let me know, right? Just put in the chat, um, please interested about the, uh, the journey. So just put journey, hashtag journey or something like that in, in, in the comments or message me directly. So somebody messaged me and said, I want the book. Please send me the book. And I'm like, oh, actually, no, it's not a book. But thank you, because that's inspiring me to write about the father wound and my own healing journey with that and the divine masculine and the embodiment of that in my own life and how that might be an inspiration for others. So I'm going to be writing around this and perhaps this is going to formula, formulate into a book or into a blog post or we'll see. We'll see. I like the idea of it and immediately my mind is going, are you qualified to do this? Who are you to do this? Um, so that's also very interesting. I'm sure many of us are familiar with that kind of inner voice that might be uh, loud at times saying, you know, you're not good enough to do this. You haven't got enough experience. You haven't got enough qualifications. Blah, 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 blah. Do you listen to that? Well, the smart people don't listen to it. We turn the volume down and turn the volume up of courage and showing up 
and imperfect action. And so that's what I'm going to be leaning into with this writing practice of 20 minutes a day. And it may not all be around the divine masculine and the father wound, um, but it's already been so beautiful and so inspiring the messages that people have sent me already from doing the journey from the father wound healing and divine masculine activation journey it's been very transformational for people and very beautiful and healing and um these are all unsolicited um testimonials actually that people have just sent to me so and, and long voice notes about what this triggered and and uh what it's brought up for them around their father or being a father um but particularly around their relationship with their own father and the masculine and all the intricacies and you know, traumas that have happened and resolutions and finding harmony and balance again. And it's so inspiring. So I'm like, wow, I'm getting a prompt here from the universe to, to, to dive deeper. And so that feels to me right now, like it's going to be writing and perhaps that becomes a book. So that's exciting. And, and then I'm also going to be leaning into things that I'm most afraid of. And so I identified a couple of things which uh, there is some fear around that I feel in this moment and in the prior moments when I was reflecting, reflecting upon this, what I would be afraid of. So one was literally um, doing cold outreach. So that's just basically, it doesn't even have to be cold. When we say that, it's just like messaging people um, who I may know or may not know. Usually it's, you know, cold means someone you just don't know and haven't had any contact with. So I want to, I want to do more of that because I recognize how powerful it can be to, to reach out to people and say, Hey, look, this is me and this is what I do. You know, maybe there's something here that you would like or need. And, and that maybe is something you know, free that I'm offering, like the, uh, like the father wound healing journey. Or maybe it's something that paid that I'm also offering one of my programs, right? And I've got this Freedom Key Soul Business program that I'm launching that's starting next week. So that could be a something as well that I might mention or the Purpose Accelerator or the Detox um, or the, the new mentorship, the Diamond Heart Kundalini mentorship that I'm planning to start again next year, which we're in the middle of right now. And it's going so well and there's so much beauty and light uh, shining in the the people that are doing it. And, and that's very inspiring for me to, to create that container and hold that space and see this beauty unfold and this, this healing happen and this empowerment transpiring. So yes, what's not to love, right? Why not do more, right? So, so the, the cold outreach is one. That's like, oh, it's a bit fearful to do because it's like rejection, right? And uh, it's great to meet that as well. Very, very powerful to meet that. Very um, growth inspiring to, to meet that because what does it do when there's like someone's like, no, I'm not interested. Don't contact me. Who are you? <laughs> and, and just to feel that. And, you know, what do I identify with around that? Do, does it trigger something from my childhood? And just to see, and, and is that actually coloring much of my life? You know, am I actually afraid? Are there parts of me that are afraid to, to show up as who I really am and be in my full authentic truth and power and speak my own words of truth, even if it's a complete stranger, right? Uh, and this, of course, is also equally dyma dynamically empowering and um, inspiring and potentially life transforming when we do this with our significant others, with our family members, our parents, our, our spouses, our lovers, our brothers, our sisters, our best friends and tell them, hey, this is what I do. <laughs> and really show up authentically with that and go, hey, look, this is actually what I do. And uh, this is what I'm all about. And, and finding that vocabulary and that word wording that feels comfortable for you to, to share that. And maybe it's an edge, right? And it's also leaning into those edges in a, in a kind-hearted, courageous, and loving way. Because there's no point in hiding, guys. It's, 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 hiding is, is not serving anyone. It's, 
you're not in the light, you're in the dark if you hide, right? So it's all about this shining and this bringing forth what wants to come through us. So that's the invitation always. And then the other thing that also I have some resistance and fear around that, you know, when I tune into that's a fear thing is um, scheduling dates. <laughs> um, I'm very good at offering stuff online and flowing around and going to different countries and traveling. And that's very much in my flow, but it's at my own pace and I can just choose and go where I want to. Right. Uh, so the, the rub here, the, the edge here is planning in advance and going, right, I am going to do this work. I'm going to offer this retreat in six months time in this location. And I'm going to you know, put money down and I'm going to promote it and I'm going to offer it. And I'm committing to that location and that place and that time in the future that feels quite far away, right? It's like, well, I don't know how it will be and so where I want to be in six months time. So that's like my resistance. And then there's heeding the inner call, which is saying, go and do that thing, go and offer that thing in that place at that time, right? That location. And so, and that comes from a place where I am grounding in something and I am going, hey, I am here at this time doing this thing. If you're interested, great. And so it's about something about structure and about location and time and commitment and discipline to that. Staying the course, solidity. Um, and also recognizing that people need time to plan in their lives. So I may have amazing precious treasures to share and you do too, of course. And yet people can't receive them because they didn't have the forewarning. They didn't have the information with enough time between it happening and getting the information that they can make that decision and commit to it with their time and their money. So this is something else that I'm edging into and it feels like it's a bit of a stretch, right? So, and there's fear around it, right? What if it goes wrong? What if I don't get enough people? What if the venue cancels? What, what, what if, what if, what if? But if I don't actually do it, then I'll never know anyway. And of course we just learn, right? Anyway. So if something doesn't work out, well, I'm learning from that. Okay, how can I do it better next time? And so, and I just recognize that people need time, right? Not everyone is like me who can just flow around and see something they like and go, oh, great, I'm going to that. And it's in a week's time and just sign up, right? It's like people need time. People have commitments, responsibilities, structure in their lives, families, jobs, etc., timetables and other itineraries and travel plans. And so with enough time, then it gets easier for them to say yes. So, and that's the generalization, I know, but that's what I'm working with. And uh, I feel almost a bit of anxiety when I speak about this right now, because it's like, wow, that's, yeah, committing to a time and a place in the future, like six months, nine months time. Whoa, gosh, you know. And so this is going to be my practice is going to be leaning into this during this 10 days and, and really going for that, right? Getting some dates in, in places to offer work with uh, what I'm offering, the, the, the medicine that I'm offering, right? Which can, uh, could look like uh, creativity unblocking, could look like soul purpose activation, could look like deep rest and stillness and going within. Um, could look like intuitive facilitation training. Uh, there's a few different recipes in the mix that want to be thrown into the cauldron and, and probably a lot more as well. So I'm going to be leaning into that and during these 10 days. Okay. So today is day one. So I am fasting right now. I've started and I'm going to go for my run and I'm going to do some writing. All right. So I hope that's been helpful 
Um, I'm curious about maybe you want to start your own 10 day challenge and what that is. Would love to know, right? This is an invitation to do it for yourself as well, to keep yourself accountable, to choose your most fulfilling things that you want to bring into your life um, through these actions and activities on a daily basis. Now, what's going to work for you? What are you dreaming in? What are you calling in? Okay. And of course, as a coach, I can also offer you accountability as well. So that's something if you want that, which can be so helpful, then, you know, ask, ask me for it. You know, let's have a chat. And if you're interested in the detox that I'm starting leading as a group tomorrow, and which could be life changing then let me know, you know, message me interested in the detox or hashtag detox or just put detox in the comments here. So there are some uh, options and opportunities and this is what I'm doing over the next 10 days as well as going to Norway this weekend for the Sex Break Festival. I'm going to be facilitating a couple of workshops there which is very exciting uh, in Oslo um, and then I'll be back in the England and then maybe going further afield. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit about me, a little update, announcement, news, shape shift, season change. How are you? How's your season change going? Maybe you're in a different place where there's no season change happening. Um, but perhaps you're feeling ready for a shape shift. Perhaps you're feeling ready to detoxify and clean out the body, uh, particularly maybe the guts, you know, uh, all of that and the parasites perhaps uh, all gunk to make way for the new uh, just feel more alive powerful connected in your body for example it's a great time of year to do it and um, yeah or maybe you want to lean into your soul business and your soul gifts and monetizing them and having freedom having a location independent living because you are having a robust income from sharing your true soul gifts in a way that is in deep integrity with who you are and having massive life-changing impact on others and hey if you're interested i can help you with that and we start next week so that's a wonderful potential option as well that i'm offering and yeah like if not now then when right <laughs> so if it resonates, great. If not, no worries, you know. Take what resonates, leave the rest. That's what I say. Always, never, you know, you don't have to believe anything I say. Check it out for yourself, what resonates inside you. Be your own scientist. All right. So remember that you are loved. You are infinite consciousness. That you are connected with source. And you don't need me, you don't need anyone else to connect in with source, with God, with the all that is. You can do it right now. And I fully invite you to do that because that is mastery. That is empowerment. That is sovereignty. And you are a sovereign being. And you are, in fact, eternal, infinite love. Easy to say, maybe a little bit more hard to do. <laughs> Um, to live, you know, day to day, moment to moment in that knowing and in that reality. But it is transformational, miraculous and life changing in every conceivable possible way. Your life will never be the same again if you do choose to live in this way of knowing full well that you are infinite source consciousness, your infinite love, eternity itself and embody that. All right. You are loved. Jody here, spiritual coach, purpose alignment mentor, and all round <laughs> life loving, friendly neighborhood mystic. All right, take care, love you, have a wonderful rest of day, rest of week, rest of year. Bye.